Uh, hello and welcome to the July DevOps meetup. No, sorry. The guy got have I have, have I done the month right once this year? Okay, welcome to the June uh, DevOps meetup. Uh, as always, follow us on Twitter. Um, this is not being live streamed because I couldn't figure it out. But usually we live stream uh, all the events and um, definitely we'll re we'll put this up um, sometime later this week. Uh, the talks that you see tonight, so you can share them with the people that you work with. Um, that's one of the big things here is like trying to, uh, I assume since you're coming here, you're interested in DevOps and you're trying to get your company more interested in DevOps. That's one of the main goals that we have for this meetup, is to lift up the culture in Kansas City throughout all the companies. I know that some of you have worked at this company and you work at other companies and, and stuff. We want to have good cultures no matter where it is we're working. So that's one of our main focuses here is trying to lift up the culture and it's it's the it's the ideas that you bring back on making automation and making um, culture better that actually make the companies better make it places that we all want to work so that's what we do so um, anything you hear tonight we want you to be able to go back and refer to that and show that to other people um, that you work with if you're not in slack already join us uh, we have good conversations uh, we'll talk about some of those conversations we've had recently um, tonight um, and if you would like to join, you can invite yourself. Um, we've made it so um, Slack works, you have to have an invite. Um, so now you don't have to email me and ask for an invite. You just go here, put your email address in, and then it sends you all these magic links and you just pop them in there and you're inside of Slack. Uh, has anybody not used Slack yet? Just for anything? You never used Slack? It's awesome, you should try it out. It's the email killer from 2014. But then it, it really ends up being just this thing that pops up all the time and tells you things which sometimes are funny cat gifts. So they're great. <laughs> and a dancing parrot. Dancing parrots. Yeah, the party parrot. Party parrot. Um, if you'd like to speak at a future meetup, uh, get up here and talk about like the awesome things that you're doing. We've got a paper call for that. Um, you can submit or you can jump on the Slack and just start shopping your ideas. Um, your ideas are awesome, I'll tell you right now. Like anything you're doing to automate and um, make your culture better is a really good thing. Um, if we even want to hear about failures because like, if things don't work, that's really good information for the next person that's going to try them. Of course, I got to pump our um, conference. Uh, the early bird tickets are still on sale until July 15th. And I believe they are $125. Um, they will either sell out or on July 15th, they'll go up to $175. It's a two-day event. In the mornings, we do talks, then we have lunch, then we come back for these five-minute talks, and we rip like six or eight of them right in a row, back to back. And then in the afternoons, what we do is called open spaces, where uh, in, the, in the morning, people put up, hey, I want to talk about this topic. And uh, then throughout the day, people vote on it, and then people just uh, like circle up and talk about whatever that topic is. Last year, um, it was really, really good. We were in the Music Theater Heritage. This year, we're in the Uptown Theater, which is like a bigger venue, so we can have a lot more people. Um, so tell your friends. Um, this is another one where like, if you can get uh, people from your team to come for a couple days and see these ideas about culture and automation, um, you can maybe turn some heads. Next month, for the meetup, I want to try something uh, that we've never done before. I want to do a hands-on thing, where everyone just brings their computers, and we go through the Kubernetes tutorial. Because in the conversations I've had with people, they're very interested in Docker and Kubernetes, but they don't know what it is because they don't get time at work to ever do these things, right? Um, Kelsey Hightower has a really great tutorial out there. So what I'm thinking is that we have a few people that are more accustomed to Docker and Kubernetes go ahead and do this ahead of time. And then we'll get in a room like this, where everyone's on their computer, and we'll go through that. Um, if you've seen in the Slack, I posted um, where you can get uh, $300 in free Google Cloud hosting uh, to use for the next 12 months. If everyone goes and does that, then they show up. We can we can follow that tutorial from the start to the finish. A couple people have told me that know how to do it pretty well, that they were done in 45 minutes to an hour. I think if we go slowly and go through a whole group, people are asking questions, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. And then you'll have that idea of what this is, um, what Kubernetes is. Uh, Kubernetes, uh, as we saw, a couple, uh, was the last meetup or a couple meetups ago, is like a kernel for your data center. You schedule all these pods um, to go out just like your scheduler on your operating system. 
schedules a bunch of processes. And then when things are actually needed, then it um, schedules what actually is done. Really, really cool idea. Um, so something that I think we should be um, used to, even if it's not the exact right thing for your business, which is where I also want to talk about, I need a volunteer to take the other side. There's a really good blog post out there, and even Martin Fowler says, if you're not to the maturity level to do Kubernetes and microservices, don't. Do a monolith. If a monolith works, then do that, right? Because it's about actually making money and not just doing cool tech. These are upcoming tech events that I know about. There's KCDC, August 3rd and 4th. I just found out today, and I put this in the upcoming uh, events room in Slack, that there is a kids um, thing on Saturday <coughs> from 10 to 2, where you get Legos and Ploxios, or I'm not saying that right, whatever. Really cool, like, Lego robotic stuff where you can bring your kids. Um, so it's like a kids conference. Like, uh, my kids know that I go to conferences a lot, and they just know that I bring back little toys and stuff. I want to actually bring them and then we can do fun stuff. Um, of course DevOps Days and uh, check out the upcoming events channel. I've been putting a bunch of things in there. Uh, opportunities where you guys can submit CFPs to other um, cities. A lot of times, uh, depending on the conference, they will pay for you to travel there and spend the night. Um, some of them won't or whatever, but it is really good to ex get exposure and get up in front of people and talk. Now this is the point where, like, do you guys have announcements or things uh, that you want to share with people? I think Arthur had one. I do. Did I catch you in the deck one? Yeah, you caught me in the middle of the chip. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm really, my timing is impeccable. Perfect. Like, I'll mess things you're just, you're just like every waiter or waitress I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, uh, I'm Arthur. Uh, welcome to Sprint. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, and just four members, uh, or, or, well, I guess I count myself, three members, three additional members of our DevOps team here, uh, Rodney Spar, Jim, and Leslie over there. Um, so just want to say thank you for being here. Also, I wanted to let you know there's a, there's a couple of DevOps engineer type positions open here at Sprint. So if you want to talk to me about that, I'll be around. Talk to me. So. That's, that's, uh, that's really kind of it. Also, last thing, uh, we ordered food for 100. I know that's not really. We ordered food for 40. And we're not quite at 40, but there's still a ton of food over here. So we're going to lock the doors, and no one can leave until all the food is gone. <laughs> so. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so, okay. I'd like a big round of applause for Sprint. Yeah. invade your campus. Um, this is amazing. Oh, I love this place. Um, I just can't believe how many parking garages there are. Like, it's always... <laughs> Eleven. Because <laughs> I'm always like, where do I park? Because if I park in the wrong one, I'm going to be walking along. <laughs> um, oh, this is great. The food's great, too. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, did anybody else have uh, announcements of things coming up that we should know about or jobs? Is anybody hiring? Uh, sprint hiring, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, mention oh. something real quick. I'm Jason Drumright. I'm from Cook Industries in Wichita. Uh, we are starting a shared office space up here in Kansas City, and we do have several development um, roles open. So if you guys are interested, feel free to come chat with me. Are you on Slack? Uh, I just got my invite. Logging in right now. Awesome. Yeah. So you can reach out through there. There is a job postings or jobs or there's some channel okay. related to jobs. Yeah. I'll type in job or whatever. You can uh, post links and things in there. Dave Auditory, uh, director of software engineering and MSTS. We do payment processing. Um, we have a number of positions, uh, product as well as engineering positions. So I'll get on the Slack channel. And find it and post it out there for anybody who's interested or just catch me on the way out. Excellent. Awesome. I'm Adam Olson. I'm also from Wichita, Kansas. I'm with GitLab. We are a software development platform. Um, we are hiring remotely, always. Um, everyone works from home. There is no office, but uh, I don't want to take away from local job too. But, uh, I'll put it in the Slack channel. Thank you. Excellent. Awesome. 
Going once. Going twice.